Hey guys, it's Kenny here from the Fantasy Golf Degenerates bringing you my cash game cornerstones um, every week from now on on the FantasyFanatics.com. Really excited about working with the Fantasy Fanatics and I'll be bringing you my uh, video every week for the rest of the season. Uh, in this weekly video, I'll be giving you my favorite four plays for double ups, 50-50s, and head-to-heads on DraftKings. Uh, most of my research for this will be coming off the Fantasy Fanatics uh, com spreadsheet which is one of the most valuable tools you can use to gain an edge uh, on your opponents every week in a PGA DFS uh, Ryan who heads the site has put together some of the best tools in the business and if you're not a subscriber yet you really should be um, also the fantasy golf degenerates uh, all of us will be working with the fantasy fanatics who will be giving you our insight our strategy our articles every week DFS Jimmy um, wedge um, Adrian Nelson, iPod Todd doing his Euro um, stuff, and, um, you know, Brad Messersmith, my co-host on the Fantasy Golf Generates podcast, we'll all be doing everything we can to help you win some money each and every week on the FantasyFanatics.com. So let's move on to this week. It's the first full field event that we've had in a while, which is nice. So we'll finally have cut sweats coming on Friday. Golfers will be playing the Sony Open. From Wailai Country Club, it's in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, it's a par 70 course with tight fairways, gnarly rough, and you know, average to small size greens. Um, some stats uh, I'm looking for this week are going to be strokes gained putting, strokes gained tee to green, a little bit of birdie or better percentage. I look at those every week; they're they're pretty standard stats, especially for DraftKings scoring. Um, I'll also be putting a little bit more emphasis on strokes game putting this week because of the trends I've seen at YLI. The last 10 winners of this event, uh, you know, only VJ Singh and Mark Wilson were outside the top 36 in strokes game putting for the year they won. Uh, if you'd like a more detailed description of the course uh, and all my stats and all my picks this week, check out my weekly article on projectroto.com. If you're looking for uh, more about the course, also check out DFS Jimmy's work on the fantasyfanatics.com. So, you know, also, if you take a peek at though at uh, my expert model on the fantasyfanatics.com, you'll be able to see, you know, exactly what stats I'm looking for, how much I'm taking into account course history, how much I'm taking into account current form. So, make sure you subscribe to uh, the fantasyfanatics.com. It's definitely solid. It'll be worth your money. Now, let's move on to my picks this week. My first pick is going to be uh, Brant Snedeker at $9,700. First off, there's definitely going to be a little bit of a theme uh, when it comes to my picks this week. I like guys who played last week, who have played recently. Uh, 12 of the last 18 winners here at, uh, played at the Tournament of Champions the week before. Uh, I also like guys who played recently because there'll be some guys in the field this week who haven't touched a club in months. You know, so rust is definitely a factor for these guys. And I'd probably avoid most of these guys uh, in cash games this week. Uh, Sneds, he played last week, played fairly well. He was excellent from tee to green. Uh, but the reason he didn't finish better than 14th was because he lost strokes to the field with his putter. He actually finished 27th out of 32 golfers in putting last week. You know, I chalked that up to variance. Putting is definitely the most uh, variant uh, stat out there. Uh, but overall, Sneds is one of the best putters in the world. I expect him to come back to the norm and putt well at YLI this week, just like he did last year when he came in second, losing to Fabian Gomez in a playoff. You know, he makes a lot of birdies, is a leader par four scoring, and is very good from the rough. He hasn't missed uh, a cut since June, so that's pretty solid. I always like guys who are on a nice run when it comes to cash games. Uh, I like him as my highest priced golfer uh, in my cash lane, my cash game lineup this week, and I'll probably be avoiding all three of the highest priced guys: Justin Thomas, Jordan Spieth, Hideki Matsuyama in cash. Uh, if you want to read why, check out my article on ProjectRoto.com. Uh, my next pick is someone I'm very, very high on this year. It's Daniel Berger at $8,800. You know, at first look, 
Berger's game doesn't look like it suits the course just because he's somewhat wild off the tee. Uh, but in his eight rounds here at Wileye, he has shot in the 60s every single time. Uh, he's another golfer like Sneds who makes a lot of birdies, plays par four as well, and is a good putter. Uh, he played decent last week, finishing in 14th on a tricky course that he's never played on before. And again, like Snedeker, he didn't putt as well as his uh, ranking shows. I expect his putter to be better on a course that he has familiarity with, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's in contention come Sunday. Another guy who hasn't missed a cut in a while. Berger hasn't missed a cut since, I think, February. So the last 10 months, he has not missed a cut. So solid price, 8800 Definitely look at Daniel Berger. Uh, next pick. It's going to be one of the hottest golfers on tour, not named Hideki or Justin. Uh, it's Pat Perez at $8,000. He, he had an injury that sidelined him for almost eight months. But since he's been back, he's played four events. Um, he hasn't missed a cup. And in his last three events, he finished seventh, first, and third. He had a great Sunday last week at Kapalua, shooting a six under 67 to fly up that leaderboard into third place. Uh, he has a really good history at YLI, making 10 of his last 12 cuts, including seven in a row with four top tens. So far this season, and I know uh, it's sort of a small sample size, but for the 2016-2017 season, he's 54th in strokes gain putting, 10th in birdie or better percentage, 25th in par 4 scoring, and 24th in proximity from the rough. He's also 21st in strokes gained T to green. I'll be riding his hot hand, uh, definitely, in my cash game lineup this week, especially at $8,000. Uh, my final pick is actually going to be a golfer who didn't play last week. And I know I said earlier that, you know, you probably should avoid these guys, but Charles Howell III at $7,800 is basically a free square this year. Has eight top 15s and six top fives. Uh, I guess you could say he's definitely a fan of this course. You know, not only does he have great course history, uh, but he played well in the fall, and he's known as a golfer who never stops playing golf. He doesn't take these long couple of months breaks that a lot of these top guys do. Um, you know, I've read and heard that literally he's practicing every day, and his game is going to be ready for this tournament, I, I, I believe. Uh, I worry less uh, about Russ with him than most other guys on tour because of this. Um, if you check out my expert model on the fantasyfanatics.com, you'll see his stats for the course are extremely solid. Like I said, he's basically a free square in cash games this week. So let's recap my four favorite cash game plays this week. They're going to be um, Snedeker, Brent Snedeker at $9,700. Daniel Berger at $8,800, Pat Perez at $8,000, and Charles Howell III at $7,800. Now, if you're looking for a low-priced value play uh, this week in cash games, check out Hudson Swafford at $7,000. He has two top tens here in the last three years, and he's made 17 straight cuts in a row on tour. I think that's second only behind Dustin Johnson. Now, I'll take that any day of the week uh, for $7,000. So that's it for me this week. Make sure you, you subscribe to the FantasyFanatics.com and use all their extensive tools to make your PGA DFS game better. Also, check out my article on ProjectRoto.com to see my extensive course preview, all the stats I'm using, and all my picks for cash games and GPPs. Uh, good luck. And I'll see you guys next week.